What is going on YouTube? Trade Mode James here, Zone Trading Group. Today in this video, we're gonna talk about Microvision's price action. Uh, it's been a little bit of time since I made a video, so I figured I need to do it. We did just get the daily cross. We're gonna talk about that and more. Before I do that, make sure you guys smash the like button. 100 likes per video, that is always the goal. And if you are not a subscriber to my channel, please make sure you hit that subscribe button, right? Meow. All right, let's get right into this, guys. Let's get it. All right, guys, so basically, uh, you know, right now we're kind of in a limbo state. I'm not going to lie. Like, there's not too much to talk about uh, regarding the price action because right now uh, we did have a pretty big dip uh, down to this trend line, and we are having the Golden Cross on the daily time frame right now as we speak. It actually happened uh, a couple of days ago, but technically, uh, you know, we're in the process of having that happen. So a lot of people are worried that we close below this 200 SMA. I'm not worried about it because we bounced off the trend line here and with a really nice clean bounce, actually. Now, that's not saying uh, that we can't, you know, go down any further. This is a very strong zone, and I've been preaching this zone for a minute. I told you guys this is a gnarly supply zone. If you guys hear that meowing in the back, that's Floyd, by the way. <laughs> oh, my God. Anyways, so this uh, uh, this supply zone was gonna give us some trouble. I've been you know telling you guys that for a long time. Same like that. Same same as that uh, four dollar to four twenty dollar zone uh, that we had to break through down here. All right, and like I said, uh, you know. It's, it's a known supply zone, all right? You look to the left, this is how I found this, all right? It's a very strong supply zone, uh, kind of a fresh one too. Uh, so, you know, if we count this, uh, you know, from the very, very first dump off, uh, off of 615 or 616, this is gonna be one, two, three, uh, then four, and we'll say five sell-offs, we'll say six sell-offs off of this zone, because uh, this is three right here. You know, four, five, and then six. So we've had a bunch of touch points on this zone. Uh, usually they dry up after, you know, three or four hits, sometimes even once or twice. Uh, but this is a strong one. This is a strong one. So uh, it's going to take a little bit of, uh, of umph to get us above this zone. But I'm telling you, when we do, we're going to run. Uh, the, next, the next real zone up is like around 725 or something like that. But right now, we're really just waiting for this golden cross to happen. Uh, like I said, if we pull a fib here from the top of this move uh, down to the trend line, a golden zone retrace. We always want to find this out, by the way, so you have an idea where price could go if it breaks back above that 23.6 line. Uh, that's going to be around 517 to 535, that golden zone right there. Uh, and that's off the daily time frame and off the current move if we use this trend line touch as the bottom. So it does look pretty clean, uh, you know, as far as price action goes. Uh, we did come down a little bit for, farther than I wanted to, but I did tell you guys also that we might, and it, it was probably going to happen, that we did come down and at least come come close to testing that golden cross before we jump from it. If we go back to the four hour time frame, uh, and we analyze what happened here on this golden cross, uh, we did come back down for a test here too when it happened, right here on uh, July 5th, all right? So we came up real high, uh, we made two higher highs, we have the first higher high, uh, then we have, or we have the first high, then the second higher high, then the third higher high, and then we had a dip all the way back down to this golden cross, and then from there, uh, we kind of just ripped. And I did make a video on this, and I did call this move out too. Uh, the daily is a little bit more, uh, you know, lagging than the four hour. Uh, you know, this is a, you know, these SMAs are lagging indicators, so, uh, you have to keep that in mind and know that it's not just just because we get a golden cross one week uh, doesn't mean that it's right then going to happen. Typically, it does, but it that doesn't guarantee it. Right. And we could easily just break this trend line uh, and, you know, start making lower highs and lower lows and come back down test 250. That could happen. Do I think it's going to happen? No, I don't. I think I think at a worst case scenario, we're probably looking at somewhere around, you know, four dollars before we get a really big, you know, jump in demand somewhere around here if this happens. Uh, now, if we come back up for the retest and reject off this trend line, you know, on the retest here, uh, we could come down. I'm not going to lie you guys, it could happen. Uh, but there's a lot going on with the stock, all right? A lot of good articles coming out. Everything is just coming together, and I don't really see that happening. But it could, uh, and I always want to tell you. I always want to be transparent with the price action uh, because it could happen. You know, it could happen. Do I want it to? No. If it does, will I buy more? Yes. That's essentially where I'm at with this stock. You know, I'm just holding this. I'm I'm balls deep in crypto right now, guys. I'm really studying and. You know, I really think Pulse Chain is going to change the game. If you don't know what Pulse Chain is, make sure you go check it out, all right? This is a Mavis video, so I'm going to stick to that, but just know, I'm super excited about that, okay? But anyways, like I said, guys, uh, we need to get back above this golden zone, first of all. That's that, And like I said, that zone goes from 520-ish to like 535. After that, we're gonna, if we do get above that, we're likely, and we find support, we're likely going to come test the zone again. I think we break through this time, just because if we do get back up here, that 50 SMA is going to be just like 
trucking along, all right? We're gonna have that 50 SMA helping us out get above the zone. And the next real zone on the daily time frame is somewhere up in here. All right, this is kind of vague. It's not the best zone, but it is somewhere up in here, which is pretty far up. That's gonna take us, you know, up around $7, a little over $7. Uh, 6.92 to maybe somewhere like 7.30 or something like that. Like I said, uh, this isn't the tightest zone. I'm just doing this for reference on the video. But somewhere up in here is where the next run up is going to be before we find some really solid resistance. So like I said, guys, we're just waiting for this golden cross to happen. All right, uh, and you know, hopefully we get back above this, uh, get back above the golden cross and at least come back up and fill this gap here. Because if we do fill this gap right here up to about 489, uh, you'll see that that does put us back above the 23.6, which per my rules activates the golden zone. So if we get back above the 23.6, it's highly likely that we're going to come up and test 520 again. And if we get above the 38.2, which is at $5, it's almost guaranteed that we're coming in at least testing the golden zone we might reject it but we're going to test it and uh, that's kind of where i'm at with the stock guys price action wise everything still looks good uh you know uh the more days that go by the more weeks that go by the closer that i mean the the you know the closer it is that this bear market is going to be done all right and hopefully it's it's soon because you know i think everybody's tired of it we're ready to see some green and uh you know put these bears back in hibernation all right it's really all i have to do in this video guys all right I, re I really wish there was more but there's just not we need to wait and see if we jump off this trend line get back above this golden cross and get a close on the daily above 23.6, which is about $4.80. If that happens, look for about 518 to 535, something like that. You guys, that's a good scalping opportunity. Uh, you guys can you know, do whatever you want there, play the options game or whatever, just be careful and always use proper risk management. If you guys wanna join my trading team, send me an email, zonetradinggroup at gmail.com. And like I said, always make sure you hit the like button and subscribe button, and I will catch you guys on the next video. Peace out.